Hey everybody, just a really quick look at this hi-hat pattern I'm working on. You'll see that it's a essentially a two bar loop and then it's down here as well. This segment right here shows the notes, they're all 16th notes and they're being repeated but the color shows the velocity. So the velocity is how essentially how loud it's triggered it has a, a nice color scheme here. So I just want to show you how I did this. First of all, I use the brush tool just like this. And that created the basis for that. Then I switched to make sure that the MIDI draw was turned on. And it is right now. But you can see that we have all the notes here, both the ones that are changing in velocity and the ones that are staying the same. Now down here under controller, this is where I get to actually choose what I'm changing and I want to make sure it's set to note velocity instead of pitch bend or something else. Now let's delete these for a second. Or Better yet, let's just move them over. Get them out of the way. That way they're not officially gone. I can actually expand this out if I want to. And you'll see that they're all still there. Next, uh, there's two things we can do here. Or a few things. One of them is draw a whole new line with the pencil tool. And then I was kind of making it go down just a little bit and then back up. Now I can draw like little individual lines here, but we're just going to go back into the pointer tool. And you know with hi-hat playing, they're always going to have a little variation. A good, good drummer can make these pretty even, but for the most part, each drummer is going to have a little bit different strength with each hand and potentially want to change the feel or the sound and they're just going to be hitting a little different loudness with each of the different hands. So let's move these up into the hi-hat and let's solo this out and let's actually get it on the hi-hat, there we go. You can hear where it changes sample. That's a not a great sampled hi-hat in some ways because it changes so dramatically at some point. So with that, I tend to like to either have it be just more wildly changing or more subtle down below and the other sample group. So the whole point of this was to add it with these other instruments here and have it be more than just a simple hi-hat that's going through. So here's the first part it was layered with. So you get a little bit more of an interesting layer with that hi-hat kind of changing the levels that goes through all of those. Now, in addition to that, I have it going through a compressor. You can see it does a little bit more only at the louder volumes. Let's make that do a little bit more like that. Let's go back. So it just does a little bit more as it gets louder. And then I have a channel EQ just rolling off most of the mids and lows and boosting up a little bit of highs. Okay, foundation for a new song. But I just wanted to share that little bit working in the piano roll there 
with not only the brush tool but also the pencil tool uh, working together to get more of a dynamic hi-hat sound. Cool, that's it.